Hello, welcome to CLP Team Time at Home. My name is Max. We're happy to see you guys. And we're happy to know that you guys are interested and engaged in these programs. So today, we're gonna to be making LED cloud lamps. It's a quick and easy way to get into circuitry and electronics, while also combining tech and art with that. Uh, before we do that, I'm gonna do a quick icebreaker so you guys can learn a little bit more about me. What are you most proud of? Um, at the moment, I would have to say probably my skills with mural making and spray paint. That's uh, my main practice and I feel very comfortable with it right now. So moving on from that, uh, you probably received materials for this program in a grab and go kit. If not, no worries, you can still follow along. You can ask your local CLP location about those grab and go kits. We would also like to know what you guys want to do next, so feel free to leave some comments. You can also email us at teens at carnegielibrary.org. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a time lapse of how I actually made one of these cloud lamps. In the grab and go kits, I've also included a step-by-step -step comic if you want to follow along with that. Uh, if you want to learn more about the science behind electronics and learn what the terms voltage, amps, and LEDs even mean, I suggest you check out Afro Tech Mods on YouTube. So here's the video. So to make one of these cloud lights here, you will need a plastic jar or cup, an on and off switch, some pillow stuffing, some LEDs, two coin cell batteries, some glue dots or Elmer's glue, a pair of scissors or wire snips, and copper tape. Our first step will be open up the battery switch and place both coin cell batteries in there. Make sure that the positive and negative sides are facing the correct direction find the plus symbol and negative symbol engraved into the battery. Before attaching, you will need to strip the plastic off each wire to expose the conductive metal underneath. You only need about a half inch exposed on each. If you have wire strippers, this will work best, but we will be using scissors today. Next, you will test your battery switch and LED. Each LED has two wire legs, one of which is shorter than the other. The longer leg, the anode, is the positive end and should be attached to the positive end of the circuit, which is the red one. The shorter leg, the cathode, which is the negative, should be attached to the negative end of the circuit, which is the black wire. The red and black wires may be referred to as power and ground respectively. You can attach multiple LEDs to your switch by daisy chaining them together. Simply wrap the negative leg of one LED with the positive leg of another. When your LEDs are daisy chained together, should still be a free short and long leg. Attach the long leg to the red wire, the power, and attach the short leg to the black wire, the ground. Keep in mind that since the voltage of these batteries are pretty low, more than two LEDs will create a dimmer effect than just one or two. The last step of this project is to put your cloud fluff on your plastic bottle. To do this, place glue dots on all sides of the bottle Pull the stuffing apart with your fingers to create thinner, more wispy strips. Put these onto the glue dots. Like I said, if you don't have glue dots, Elmer's glue, spray glue, or any other type of glue should work. So what we're going over today is very simple and a bit limited in size and intensity. So if you're interested in doing some more projects or even bigger projects, or if this is a subject that sparks some interest for you, I suggest you check out the book Circuitry and Electronics by Anastasia Suen. If you're interested in making some art with lights and photography, there's this really cool book called Painting with Light, Light Art Performance and Photography by John Leonardo Fuller. Finally, insert your LED lights into the decorated bottle and secure it to the bottom of the bottle with glue dots. You will need to have your switch exposed so that you can turn the lights on and off. You can find even more local activities like this via Assemble Pittsburgh. Right now, Assemble is hosting virtual Assemble programs for grades one through nine. These are free programs that focus on STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. Just register online at assemblepgh.org or go to the Instagram at assemblepgh. Want to level up your circuitry skills? Try working with resistors to limit current and learn about Ohm's law. You start getting more involved with electronics, it's best to learn how to control your power sources and output. But like I said, what we're working with today is not very powerful, so you will not shock yourself. But when you start moving up in power, it's best to practice that safely. Thank you for hanging out with us today for Teen Time at Home. 
Feel free to show us what you made by tagging us online. You can use at CLP Teen Space. You can look forward to more kits coming out in the future. You can go to your local CLP location for more details on that. We miss you guys. We look forward to creating more with you next Wednesday. Have a good one.